So what I'll be doing today is I'm going to review and show you at the same time um, the installation of uh, Makolo Linux Shift. So <coughs> Makolo Linux actually is a multi desktop distro that fully transforms you bet between different layouts. So that's be actually based on the website. So we can have different layouts on a single Linux distribution. So unlike that, let's say for example, we're we can just run a theme or uh, change the theme of the web of the distribution in Makolo Linux. Uh, they claim that they can actually um, fully transform you between different layouts. So let's like to see that. Although I have uh, previously installed this one on my virtual box, I, uh, uh, I actually wasn't able to explore uh, fully its its functionalities as well as its features. Okay, so um, uh, base uh, shift is an extremely com complex distro to build. So uh nothing like it exists anywhere we are aware that some distros can change the layout of the desktop in in some form or another however those are merely overlay theme changes or moving of a panel or dock so uh one of their claims again uh, is that uh, <coughs> um based on the different linux that they have they can basically just change the panel or the dock's location on on of, of the distribution so let's say for example you want it to shift the dock from bottom to put it on top or left or right and so on. So uh, in, in shift, they actually were able to um, switch it to a completely different layout. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll see that in a while. So as what I've said also, I'm going to do a, uh, um, a quick installation or we're going to do also a, an, an installation um, uh, on Makolo Linux shift. Okay, actually, there's two uh, flavors in Makolo Linux. The first one, which I'll, which I'm currently showing you, is Makolo Linux Shift, and the other one is actually Makolo Linux Droid, which I'll also be reviewing um, one of these days. Okay, so let me just try to unpause my machine, virtual machine. Okay, so we have here. Let's just try to use default. I'm just going to press enter. Uh, okay, so everything is loading. Currently loading. Okay, so everything is currently loading. Okay, um, now we have here uh, the three in, in this particular build. So they have um, eight unique desktop styles, one click automated switch between layouts. So uh, they ca uh, using Macaulay Linux actually, we can uh, shift to eight unique desktop styles, which we will see in a while. And at the same time, also they have your automated automated switch between layouts, three hundred thirty wallpapers. Well, that's a lot. Um, ninety two icon sets, uh, twenty cursors, fourteen GTK themes. Okay, forty one extensions, huge driver support. Okay, um, let's say for example you wanted to use a, a, a hard a different hardware, they claim that they have it. Uh, they have a huge driver support. Just press enter. Okay, some uh, software are pre-installed and pre-configured out of the box, namely Wine. Uh, play on the Linux, play on play li play on Linux on the Ubuntu, Ubuntu variant only. So um, Wine is already pre-installed. So basically, if you wanted to install an application that is Windows-based, we can install it on Mac or Linux. Uh, I don't think I I'll be showing you that, but uh, what I can do is. Uh, I'll just be what I'll be doing is just a plain um, installation at the same time also some configurations on, on this uh, particular distribution okay so we have here this is our um, installation actually this is our uh, installation window so Macaulay Linux Shift can transform eight different desktops environment in a few seconds each layout transforms completely including docs panels icons backgrounds cursors menus uh, and any additional settings. Let's take a look or a place closer look at shift. Okay, so this is actually there. This is um, this is not actually the actual desktop. This is more of a presentation uh, of what Macaulay Linux can do. So basically, um, this one comes in preloaded, or it will be loaded once you inst once you try to run the ISO, uh, downloaded ISO of. Uh, Macaulay Linux shift. So we have your Windows also. Let me just try to 
stop this video. No, I don't want to see this video anymore. This is just actually a oh. uh, as you've noticed there's an animation on the window itself, okay, which is actually quite beautiful. Even if I'm just using my virtual box, um I could still very much see it on my I could still very much see the animation on my uh, uh happening on my uh, desktop. So let's try to close. Okay, so basically this is it. So we have here um this is uh, this is the live uh this is actually the the current setup page or the current um um uh, what um current uh desktop of my uh uh Makolo Linux shift. Okay, so we have here live installer, desktop manager. Okay, what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of in this one. We are going to do a live install uh, we're going to do uh, a, a live install. Okay, let's just try to double click. Um start installation set your sir you set your download server location okay so uh, i won't be doing this one what i'll be doing is just going to start my installation so let me just try to continue okay so again um if you're familiar with uh ubuntu uh it won't be that hard for you to install this one in your computer okay so they're also using the same um, ubuntu installer uh, on Macaulay Linux. So we have American English, Macaulay Linux. Okay, let's try to click next. Asia, okay, so we're currently in Manila. Not actually in Manila, but in the Philippines. We're in Philippines. We have here Filipino. Let's try to use English US. Default. Let's just to give it as default. Then next. Okay, so we have your erase disk. Okay, then let's click next. Okay. So Let's try to specify a password here. I'm not going to use login automatically. Use the same password for the administrator account and click next. Okay, so everything is done. So look at location, keyboard, partitions. Okay, let's try to click install. <coughs> click the MS DOS. Now we have your special effects. Uh special effects are present in Macolo Shift. You can turn it on or off via the theme manager although i haven't tried running this one on my dust on my laptop um i do want to try it out maybe one of these i'm just i actually i'm curious how it will um consume uh the power or the battery of my laptop okay uh too much animation can actually um make uh more battery make, make a lot more uh, uh consumption when it comes to battery life so Macaulay Linux, Macaulay of Core fully supports gestures. So this one actually supports gestures. I don't know if I've seen this one on other Linux distribution, but so far, uh, this is one of their highlights. Uh, supports multiple repositories when a repo box is offline. Okay, this is actually if you wanted to download something or maybe um, if you wanted to update your uh, Macaulay. So currently, I'm installing the 64-bit version, 64-bit build. Okay, so it's code name Shift Beta 2. Okay, uh, based on Macaulay Linux Dash U Hybrid base. Actually, uh, on their website, it's it's also quite um compre They also have a quite con comprehensive website when it comes to its technical. When it comes to the technical aspect of the system or of the operating system so we have your life cycle so ubuntu um up until 2025 semi-rolling debian testing main repository macaulay linux second repository ubuntu debian okay so it's still an ubuntu based as what i've said this is an ubuntu based um operating system okay uh kernel 5.11 by 5.11 by 5.15 architecture 64 bit with 30, 30, 32 bit support so this is a 64 bit um architecture required this space 15 gig required memory at least two gig well, one of the reasons actually that uh, people would rather shift to linux also actually based on my uh, previous post which is why linux mint is um the best for users uh, for uh, windows uh users if you wanted to shift to window to add to linux that 
it doesn't require that much memory so it's not a memory hog unlike if you're using um, windows 11 or windows 10 okay which can be quite uh, memory hog not unless you try to do some tweaking on it um but they only uses two 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 gigabytes of ram although uh, four gigabyte is is uh, recommended it only consumes two gig two gig of ram which is actually not that uh bad um we have also have your live username password if you wanted to install if you wanted to run it live so it was released december 2021 so it's it's actually quite uh the latest version so uh it, it just only came around last year december okay so this is actually quite an interesting um linux distribution for me so you can if you can see the animation this is one of the things i actually wanted to do with my uh linux distribution or with my uh linux uh, linux mint make the window animated um great software selection software supports flat hub and snap d okay so it already has a flat hub and and snap d installed Okay, maybe we can try that later. Um, so that we can actually install our favorite software easily. Uh, now, try to do a little bit more reading. Um, this was something we ex they explored. Actually, that's on based on their... Um, website also uh software center in makolo shift fully supports flat hub and snaps so uh on previous linux um installation snap is not pre-installed it it doesn't come pre-installed so um in this one it, it comes already pre-installed so um i've been using snap also if i can't find it on the typical repo but uh you can actually use snap users can install from a selection of thousands and thousands of great software and games with a few easy clicks uh shift supports supports a huge selection of pre-installed drivers okay so it, it supports a lot of pre-installed drivers for different hardware such as printers and so on um most if not all your plug and play devices should work out of the box so so uh, this uh Macaulay linux also supports um a lot a huge selection of hardware which is also a good thing so there's uh there, there won't be have any have any trouble at all um trying to look for drivers of certain hardware which is which, which are quite hard to find um Macaulay shift also supports special effects that give it an almost compass like feel now compass is a uh, linux is a linux um, effects library okay so it uh, uh so in 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 Macaulay linux shift it's already um pre-installed or pre-built so it's 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 built into the system itself so we can actually have the option to turn it on or off um um such as making the window wobbly okay so just like this one which i really actually really love and magic lamp like effects in shift well, i haven't seen actually magic lamp so we'll try to look for it later um Linux. Macaulay to constructor tools is included. The tool is simply amazing. We will also try to look at uh, the constructor tool. Um, preserving the desktop look and feel exactly as it was cons as it was when you constructed the ISO. Okay. Please be aware that there are three builds available. Beta 2 builds are Shift Ubuntu and Shift Debian. Both 64 and both 64 builds. Okay, so currently there's two builds available. Uh, one Ubuntu and the other one is in Debian. 
Okay, the, the one that I actually installed is um, Ubuntu. Now that we're done with the installation, uh, we'll be prompted to um, restart our um, um, installer. Okay, so let's try to click, let's just try to check uh, restart. And let's try to click done. We'll also try to remove the installation ISO settings. Okay, please remove the live medium. Okay, we just try to remove the live medium. Okay, so let it done. Press enter. Let's just try to wait for a bit. Okay, we have your Macaulay Linux, GNU Linux. Let's press enter again. It will be loading um, shortly. Okay, so we already have here our Macaulay Linux. So this is already uh, our first um, time running this one after the installation. So Macaulay Linux, a whole world of possibilities. Okay, let's try to look at it. It's still loading. So this is actually quite a different... Um, uh animation loading animation compared to other linux so when it comes to aesthetics they took a lot of time doing it making it um much more um animated and at the same time also uh feature rich compared to other linux distribution i'm not saying that other linux distribution is not feature rich but this one is a lot more animated Especially if you're fond of um, animations, then um, try. I would suggest uh, you try to use this one. So if you're Macaulay Shift running, so it's already our first time running. Let me just try to change the um, battery size, adjust window size. Let's try to adjust window size. So let's try to log in for the very first time on uh, Macaulay Shift. Okay, let's try, let me just try to write my password. And click log in. And let's try to see also the how the desktop will look. Because like I kind of forgot how it looks. Uh, actually, uh, I, I I tried installing it once, then um, didn't bother using it any a, anymore again. So this is somewhat of a uh, new experience for me all over again on how to use Macaulay Linux. Let's just try to wait first. Okay, so we have your Macaulay Linux Setup Manager. Okay. Let me just check something first. Okay, so we can basically try to set up the drivers, the firewall, the language, network. We can also donate if you wanted to donate, um, check updates, the system backup, and online accounts. So these are... Uh, this is uh can, this can be found actually on Macaulay Macaulay Linux Setup Manager. Okay, so let's, let's just try to close this one. Let's try to go um do something else. Okay, let me just try to right click here, then let's try to change uh, the location. Let's try to uh let's try to change the layout. Okay, so we have your um theme manager. Okay, for theme manager, these are all the different um cursors or pointers that we can use. Or that is available for us to use then we have here desktop manager okay this is what i've been looking for okay so uh these are the different desktop managers that we can use um yeah for uh, in macaulay linux so we have windows flash core dash plasma gnome unity and simple okay so um we can also change the desktop clock Panel, Docs Options, Team Manager, Wallpaper Manager, Tutorials, Constructor Tools, and Important Links, as well as uh, different settings. 
Okay, so let's try to change it to Lindos by clicking Lin by clicking just clicking Lindos. Let's try to see how it will look. Okay, so it's currently changing. Now again, as what I've said, this is one of the things that I like about Makulu Linux is that they uh, um, have their own uh, con compi style uh, animation for their window. Okay, it's not loading yet. Let's just try to wait first. Let's try to do other things while we're still waiting. Now one of, okay, transforming your desktop, please be patient. Okay, so it's currently um, telling us that our desk, uh, it's uh, transforming our desk. Oh, transforming our desk. Okay, so this is it. So this is actually, um, okay, let me just try to right click. They have stop manager. This is Lindos. Um, let's try to check if we can change the desktop clock. So for desktop clock options, we have here um, enable, disable. So let's say, for example, we are going to uh, enable, okay, it's disabled already. Okay, desktop manager again. I actually like the way it, it looks. I think this one will be a little bit more um, responsive when it comes to uh, having it installed on my actual hardware. Okay. So let's just like desktop clock again. Okay. We have here enable, disable, desktop icons, clear refresh clock. Okay. Let's try to disable first. Okay, so it's already gone. Desktop manager. So to go to desktop manager again. Desktop clock. Go to enable. Wait. Please wait 20 to 30 seconds. So that's how much time it will take to shift. I don't know if it's if it's installed on my hardware, uh, actual hardware, which is actual uh, machine. How long will it take? But I think it's a, a little bit more faster compared to what we have it here on our virtual box. Okay, so it's already back. Desktop, man, desktop manager. So I wanted to play around with it. Okay, um, let's try to use uh, flash this time. Double click flash. So it's going to refresh. So it's currently still changing the whole bit. Or the whole desktop looks. I wanted to see actually core and dash as well. So let's just try to wait first. Okay, so we have here, um, this is our, uh, got the stop manager. So let's flash. Okay, let's try to use score. Okay, so it's transforming our desktop. Okay, this one is also nice. This is actually, uh, I'm not, okay. This is actually the, the core version, core desktop. Okay, so you have here, the, the, instead of having the typical um, Windows um, uh, panel or menu bar at the bottom, it's already here up, up uh, on the top with uh, the docs at the bottom. Okay, so, Let's try to stick with this one because I kind of like this one. Okay, so um, we're going to let us also try to look at the different applications that's in pre installed along with our um, Makolo shift. Okay, so for accessories, 
Uh, these are the different accessories that we can find. Okay, so we have your extensions files, leafpad, menu editor, play on Linux, uh, text info variety, war, war, warpinator. You know what what war, what warpinator is. Uh, for graphics, you also have no max internet, of course, the installed um, Google and Discord. Okay, so this is one of the very few. Uh, this is actually the first time that I saw um, Discord installed on a Linux machine. So usually what would happen is that it would be installed separately or you need to install it separately. Okay. Um, Office. For Office, so far there's only two. You have your ca calendar and contacts, sound and video, Droid Cam, MPV Player, Pulse Audio. System tools. So these are the different system tools. Now as you can see, you also have G G the B package installer, which is a native of uh, Debian. So, uh, B conf editor, desktop manager, grub, htop. Let's say to select htop. Um, normally for htop, what I would do is that I would uh, install it separately. So as you've noticed in uh, uh, Bacolo, it's it's installed. It's, it, it comes pre-installed with uh, the operating system. Okay, so there's no need for us to separately install this one. Uh, uh, system tools, gparty, gpaste, grub, htop, okay. Main menu, menu editor, because I decided to select menu editor. These are the, uh, this, are, this is where you actually uh, how you can edit your menu games okay let me just try to close then we have your utilities terminal say to use terminal okay so this is actually the terminal of uh, our Apollo Linux okay if you want, you can actually install Office. Uh, you have the option to install different uh, kinds of Office. You can use either uh, Libre or other versions of Office. It depends upon you as you can set the preference. This one actually one of the advantage of uh, having Linux because you can select from the different uh, types of uh, offices, Office um, applications to install on your um, machine. Okay, so let's try to select other uh, uh, desktop. Okay, let's try to select dash this time. So this is core, by the way. I'm going to select dash. Uh, dash. This time, let's try to see how it will look. Um, for dash, one of the things that I've noticed is that it all the menu bar is also located at the bottom. Let's try to look at that one. Uh, So I try to, so to wait. Okay, it's not actually at the bottom. That's what I have thought. It's on, on the side. Okay. So if you're on the side, this is uh, your dash. Okay. So. But I'm not a big fan of this particular conky. Uh, this is actually Konki also. So Konki comes pre-installed with your Makolo. So for, for certain informations, I would also, in, uh, normally what I would do is I would uh, try to install Konki separately for this one. But as you've noticed uh, in Makolo, it's, it comes pre-installed also with the system, which is also quite good. Um, okay, what else? Try to close. Uh huh. That is like Unity.
Okay, currently it's transforming our desktop. Cool. So this is um, Unity. So we have your menu manager on top. Um, again, if you're familiar or if you're comfortable in using Ubuntu, then it won't be that hard. My, 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 my mindset is that if you're familiar on how to use Ubuntu, it won't be that hard for you to adjust to Makolo. Because actually it does have an Ubuntu feel to it. So we have here on top, show details. These are the different applications that we have here installed, settings. Okay, it's load, currently loading. We also have it here. Let's just try to close. Let's to close this one as well. Gnome. Okay, let's try to use Plasma. Okay, let me just try to select Plasma. Okay, so it's already loading again. just try to wait um just to sum it up i actually love i, I actually uh actually makulo linux actually if i find makulo linux quite uh, uh interesting to use although it, it's no longer that simple and one of the things also that i uh oh this one is also nice when it comes to the desktop Terminal, Synaptic, Package Manager, Layout Manager. Okay, this one. Mm. Now, Makolo Linux actually is a very good distribution if you wanted to have multiple um, desktop environment on your computer, on, on your on your machine. So if you can actually shift it, one, uh, you can actually shift um, from the different uh, uh to the different um uh desktop environment uh, in, with with just a click of the button so there's no need for you to install and reinstall it all over again so uh i i would suggest that you try it out and see for yourself uh on how to if you're familiar if you're comfortable in using this uh, particular type of uh, operating system so if you wanted to use it maybe you, you can try it out but uh uh, I would suggest that you try it out because it's it's actually quite interesting. Uh, uh, Makolo Linux is actually quite interesting to use, and as you've also noticed, uh, the developers kind uh, actually uh, put a lot of effort into it to making it look very uh, aesthetically beautiful. Okay, so I want you guys to try it out. Let's try it out. If you find the contents of this blog useful or interesting, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Thanks.